Hey lads and lassies, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We're back with our sandbox zoo and this video is pretty late because somebody's recording software decided to crash, which is really unfortunate and I had to wait for a new exhibit to show you what we have done. So I'm going to show you really quickly, just a reminder that our last episode was this black bear exhibit. There's one of them right now. So cute. I love these guys. I love bears in general. I think they look really sweet. They are scary as heck, but they are so cute. <laughs> Makes no sense, but yeah, I love them. And I love how like tall the trees are. It just, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Let's just, um, hmm. Are they connected? Oh, anyway, my bad. Um, yeah, I love the way that everything is, like there's no barriers and I love that. I just think it really makes it natural. Sorry if there's any background noise, it's either me with my mouse and my keyboard or the cat, little kitty. Which is doing great by the way, thank you for those of you DMing me and asking. We have just a little small staff area here. And then the final, I'm gonna skip right past that exhibit so you don't see it. Back over here, this is not gonna be in the video because it's the one that failed to record correctly. But we are on the bridge of the Gariel exhibit and there's one of the guys there. So, you know, he'd just be swimming along, having a good time. And the main reason I decided to put a bridge here is because of the main staff point, which has, you know, the quarantine and the, the large staff, uh, staff room and stuff like that. All of the, the main buildings are here. We also have a water treatment plant and just another energy source because I know I'm in sandbox, but I wanted to have those. I'm not too worried about hiding them, to be honest, uh, especially solar panel because you kind of can't hide that. You need the sun on that. But uh, I actually think this is really cute. Those of you who don't, well, it's not gonna be on this workshop unless you guys want these buildings on the workshop, but. For now, I'm just going to leave them as is. The gharials are probably my favourite animal in this zoo so far. I love them. I, I, I grew up watching Steve Irwin, so I think it's really cool to... Even though he was more about crocodiles and stuff, it's cool to pay homage in some way to him. And these guys were... I, I Basically, what I did was I picked... Um, I think I picked the Asian biome on the Trade Center and I just went with a few animals from there. So as you can see, some of the foliage is a bit different. This side we have like Japanese style trees, but then over here we've got big ass palm trees. So, you know, the vibe changes, but that they like all of these. And we've got some babies and I have tested three out of the four sides of this exhibit and as far as I'm aware they cannot escape the only side they may be able to escape from all of them not just the babies is this wall here because this wall I don't think is included on the workshop version so you guys will either have to put in a wall yourselves or figure something out Oh yeah, also if you haven't seen my Instagram, I've posted all of this um, already, but this is the bus depot here and then we have the huge car park for guests. We have a staff car park here and a loading bay and then it's not actually functional, but we have the gate for like, you know, trucks to come in and offload their stuff and I just put a path up to make it look like more realistic. I know this is a bit wonky, but you know it's it's just for me <laughs> I'm not too fussed about it and then we've got like the actual town or village looks more like a town but it's the size of a village school and petrol station this will be like a, a rugby pitch or a GAA which is like Irish football it will be something like that 
Um, one second, I th yeah, that's still up. Just give me that. Yeah. And then just some residential housing and some more fancy housing here. So I think it looks really nice. It just means that for me that the zoo is not just in the middle of the Swiss Alps, even though this is more like of a British Irish style uh, housing, it, it still kind of works, right? <laughs> And then the, actually, yeah, I forgot about this little detail. I just put in some arches for anyone who's walking in because like not everyone has a car and not everyone has a private coach that pulls up, you know, some people have to get off at the bus stop. I also embedded the spawn point in this instead of there. So it just, you know, it looks more pleasing to the eye. So you can kind of get a glimpse in here of both um, both exhibits but moving on to the main part of this video is the great giant great giant panda not great panda well it's it, pandas are great so technically great and i put some bamboo here to give that transition from you know warm tropical climate to the is it temperate i think these guys live in with the bamboo because they love bamboo forests i think that's all they eat or pretty much all they can eat unless they're desperate for food um all of the education boards and stuff are under here in this little cave walkthrough which is where their bedding is and then up here i may have this as staff path or a visitor path i have not decided but what I really, really, really am excited to show you is this. It's not like the most amazing thing in the world, but I think it's really cute. I love it so much. And it rests on top of their hard shelter. I think it's adorable. Also, you guys can remove these if you wish, but I think structurally and for my sanity i had to put them there to have some sort of support under this big structure um they can climb up and they can walk the whole way around and they cannot escape i'm not sure how much of these rocks are in the blueprint i actually forgot to check but i'm pretty sure all you have to do is either just make the glass higher or just put some rocks behind and it should be a-okay but I just think that really, really makes makes the vibe. I love it so much. And I also think like the river. So the idea was to kind of have a bit of a lake and just have it almost meet up with itself around here. Just something, something so tranquil about this exhibit. And I, I kind of surprised myself because it did not start out this way it was not planned this way at all i was gonna have like big tall mountains and all this kind of thing and i thought no keep it nice keep it simple keep it somewhat realistic to what a real zoo may have in their budget um well not that they're gonna have this big structure in their budget but uh, in terms of terrain and everything i just i just love it and yes this does have a barrier but I don't really mind that. I think it kind of works in this habitat. Just, I don't know, it, because I think aren't pandas kind of shy, so it kind of, like I had a steel fence and it just was so see-through and it just didn't suit the vibe. This is meant to be like a quiet, peaceful kind of haven for them so i kind of thought that it suited better to have this uh grayish cementy type wall i just i love it i love it so much and then out here oh god sorry about that out here we did have two more windows but there's already a bit of a backlog here as you can see with this so ideally i would have made the path larger but for some reason after building the black bears this path is a bit funny and it will not place again if i remove it and i've tried terraforming and it just won't do anything so it is what it is but i'm gonna jump straight into the speed build now and i will catch you guys 
in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts below. Our next animal is more than likely going to be the Himalayan bears. But I don't know, if you guys are sick of the bear theme, I will change it. But I think these guys are cute. I like bears, so maybe we'll do all the bears first maybe we won't we'll see we might change it up a bit and do something else first we could have like this whole section as like the bear area i don't know let me know anyway guys and thank you so so much for watching and giving me your support i hope you enjoy these videos as much as i do and i can't wait to have a proper schedule and actually commit myself to you guys and the channel a hell of a lot more so yeah, stay tuned if you enjoy and thank you so, so much.